Good day, viewers. Thank you for joining us. In this class, we want to solve this system of equation. Find the value of x and y. If you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Now, from here, let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. And uh, we can say from equation 2, from equation 2, let's make x the subject. So we take minus y here, become plus. So we can write it as x equals to y plus 7. Minus y has become plus y. So let's call this equation 3. And from here, we can substitute the value of x. That is y plus 7 now. We can substitute that in equation 1. So in equation 1, anywhere we see x, we put y plus 7. So equation 1 now becomes y plus 7 then all raised to power 2 instead of x then plus y squared equals to 25 then from there we can solve this when we open this bracket we have y squared then 2 times y times 7 that's plus 14y then 7 squared that's plus 49 then we have this y squared plus y squared equals to 25. Then from here, we collect the like terms. We have y squared, y squared. When we add it together, that will give us 2y squared. Then we have plus 14y plus 49. Let's take 25 on this side, become minus 25. Then we have 0 left on, on the right side, so equals to 0. So when we write this again from here, we have 2y squared plus 14y, that will give us plus 24, 49 minus 25, that's 24 equals to 0. And from here, we can divide through by 2, let's divide through by 2, and uh, this will give us y squared plus 7y plus 12 equals to zero now we can solve this quadratic equation to find the value of y now when we multiply the first and the last we have 12y squared that means the factor of that to be 4y and 3y so we have y squared plus 4y plus 3y plus 12 we then give us zero so when we add it together we have 7y so now, when we group this in twos, let's group them to two. So what is common between these two? We have y out, then y left here, plus what is here is four. Then plus, we have three common between these two. Three out, we have y plus four. Four left here, then equals to zero. So y plus four out, because it's common to the two. So we have y left here, then we have three left here. So equals to zero. So either of these could be zero now. So we have this is that we have y plus four equals to zero, or we have y plus three equals to zero. From here, when we solve for this, we have y equals to minus four, and from here we have y equals to minus three. Taking you know plus to the other side become minus. And let's call this one the first value of y. And the second value of y, y2. Now, from here we can get the corresponding value of x for this one for each of them. Remember from the equation 3, we have x is equal to y plus 7. That is to get x1 now. The first value of x, x1, will then give us y, which is minus 4 for y1 plus 7. A minus 4 plus 7 is like we have 7 minus 4. And that means x1 will now give us 3. So we can see that this first set of solution, that is x1, comma y1, will be equal to x1 is 3, then y1 is minus 4. So what we have 3, comma minus 4. And let's get the second value of x as well. Using x equals to y plus 7, so we have x2 will now give us y 
which is minus 3, then plus 7. Minus 3 plus 7, same thing as 7 minus 3, that's 4. That means x2 equals to 4. So the second set of solution, which is uh, x2 comma y2, will then be equals to x2 is 4, then y2 is minus 3. So we have this, you know, set of solution. The first one being 3 comma minus 4, and the second one being 4 comma minus 3. And here we have come to the end of the solution. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more of our videos and turn the notification bell on. See you in the next class and bye for now.